I think another important way in which uh, fair use code uh, matters um, is because it, um, it gives us the courage to take the kinds of risks that we should take. Uh, at Berkeley, we recently um, discovered um, that we had a marvelous um, collection of 19th century and 20th century photographs of the landscape of California. Frankly, there's a lot of trees and a lot of brush. And these were photographs that were taken by Berkeley faculty over that period of time. Um, the professors in most cases were dead. Um, their family was hard to track down. Um, no one knew if we had missed someone who might have wanted to hang on to the rights to those photographs. Of course, there was no paper trail of permissions or anything else. So um, we used um, the fair use code to kind of go through the steps of thinking out um, how much effort we should make and then should we go live. And today you can see all the trees and brush from California um, that you'd ever want to see uh, taken by uh, members of our community. And I'm making light of it, but it's extremely uh, important to people studying the environment of California. And from the point of view of just being a tourist, you know, places you've camped or, or places you've been, if you'd like to see what the landscape looked like 50, 60, and more years ago, come online and see it. <laughs>